Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the parasite classification or types of parasite we say. As we know that what is a para classification? Classification is the action or process of classifying something. Parasite is an organism which receives nourishment and shelter from another organism. Here we can see various types of the parasite. There are four types of the classification. Number one, geographical, chronological, quantitative and the quantitative. Parasites may be classified according to different ways. Number one, on the basis of residing site, ecologically, duration of parasitism. Number four, generation of parasite. On the basis of localization, we talk about number one, endoparasites. A parasite which lives within the body of the host and is said to cause an infection is called endoparasite. The examples are the trypnosoma of the endoparasite. There are three types of the endoparasite, intercellular parasite, are the parasites that live between the spaces of the host cell, for example, the entomobastrolytica. On the other hand, the intracellular parasite are the microparasites that are capable of growing and reproducing inside the cell, for example, the Babesia and a plasma. These are also called the cytosol. The other hand, on the other hand, these are your extracellular parasite lives outside the host cell with free movement, for example, the trypnosoma. These are also called the cytosol. Now we talk about, we are going to talk about the ectoparasite. Ectoparasites inhabit only the body surfaces of the host without penetrating the tissue, lice, sticks and mites are the example of the ectoparasite. The term infestation is often employed for the parasitization with ectoparasites. Now on the basis of the ecology, there are obligate parasites, the parasite which cannot exist without the host, for example the Toxoplasma gondii and Plasmodium and Fasciola hepatica. Number two points, facultative parasites. These are the parasites which these are the organisms, parasitic organisms which may either live as parasitic form or as free living form, for example, the Nigelaria, Florary, and the fleas. Incidental, exotic, or accidental parasites are the parasites which infect an unusual host, a parasite that is found in other than its normal host. Number four point is aberrant parasite, wandering parasite, or erectic parasite. We say parasite which infect a host where they cannot develop further are known as the aberrant parasites, epiparasites, and hyperparasites. Yes, an epiparasite is one that feeds on another parasite. This relationship is sometimes known as the hyperparasitism, a protozoan living in the digestive tract of the dog. On the basis of parasitism, there are temporary or intermittent parasites, a parasite such as mosquitoes that are parasitic for limited period for either feeding or reproduction. Number two, permanent parasite, a parasite that lives on its host until maturity or spends its entire life on its host, for example, the flu or an itch mite. Now friends, on the basis of the generation, there are monogenic parasite, diagenic parasite. Monogenic parasite complete the whole life cycle in only one species of host, for example, the entomobastrolytica. On the other hand, there is a diagenic host. It needs primary and secondary, means definitive and intermediate host to complete the entire life cycle, for example, the plasmodium virus. Thank you friends, hope you understand.